Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to your High Media TV News Update. I am your host. It's been a minute, but we have unprecedented uh, 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 things happening. So, as many of you have probably already seen, Don President Donald J. Trump has been hit with 34 felony counts convicted on all charges. So, I want to talk about a couple things here. Obviously, I am very, very much um, a person who takes great glee in this is very much like seeing all of the MAGAoids, you know, cope and seeing about it brings me undue joy, obviously. And while I would love to see Trump in prison for, you know, a myriad of different reasons, I am no, you know, I, I am not, you know, an idealist about this. There are three paths, three avenues in which uh, this, the Trump sentencing on the 11th, which is at time of recording, uh, eight days from now, could go. Most likely, and what's most likely to happen is he's going to just get hit with a fine. He's just going to get hit with a fine, and that's that. And this would be the safest option as far as the judge is concerned. Uh, the The next option uh, the judge could do, would, would, which I think would be very funny would would be house arrest house arrest would uh be a middle ground between you know the safest option and the big funny a which would basically meet lead to donald trump's sad tweeting for like hundreds of times a day because he can't leave his fucking house it would also to uh quote I think one of Tim Dillon's guests, uh, house arrest would, would you would be able to hear Melania screaming anywhere in the country from New York. And she would immediately fly south to Mar-a-Lago and live there instead, because while she prefers New York and hates Florida, she certainly hates her husband more. Moving on. Um that 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 being said, it would also prevent him to uh uh campaign which would also be very funny and would severely hinder enthusiasm for his for his base in going into the uh, elections here's uh and now finally we can talk about the big funny big funny in this case being sentencing him to prison now the judge is probably not going to do this he has every right to but it would imme there would immediately be riots all over this country Donald Trump's most brain dead would immediately start committing crimes. Most brain dead supporters, I mean, would start committing crimes. And that's all well and good, I guess. Somehow, some way, whatever, I don't get it. But I, I do think that, well, as funny as it would be to see, like, happen and see Trump, like, losing his absolute shit over it, I don't think it's likely, not because the judge can't do it, not because the judge wouldn't do it, but because the judge's life would immediately be for him. He would be, have a target on the back of his head from now till the end of his days. He would be, he, he would be, a, he would be uh, the, one of the first of many in a, in, in a, in a rife of political assassinations done by lunatic right-wingers so that that that's unfortunately probably not on the table what's most likely going to happen is the judge is going to issue Donald fine and call it a day. now a fine a hefty fine at that is probably not going is probably not easy nonetheless trump is already on the hook for i think well uh, uh at least a quarter of a million dollars uh by the state of new york in other cases already uh, i think it's under the uh, tax evasion the tax property case and he's not exactly liquid at the, at the moment so that so a, a large fine especially if it's like a substantial fine and not just like a you know 75 grand he's he would have a that still would be a difficult time for him. It's money he can't necessarily afford to lose but sadly i think that's probably the most likely most likely thing to happen um I will say though, um, there is a couple other funny things 
Trump is now a convicted felon. That is, he has been convicted. Um, it's he 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 is at least while this conviction is on him, uh, is not going to be able to not going to be welcome into half the planet. Most countries in the world do not let felons into their borders now. If he, for some reason, won the presidency, which is not unlikely, I don't think Donald Trump is going to win. I think the only, I think like the biggest, the most likely thing that's going to allow Trump to win is Democratic voters staying home because of the disgust uh, of the genocide going on in Gaza. But regardless, I think that um, you know if. Donald Trump not being able to go into most of Europe, including the UK, I think is very funny, especially with how much he has invested in his golf course in Scotland. But I digress. Um, I think, I think, I think fundamentally, at the end of the day, the appeals process is going to be exhausted. There is a chance. There's a pretty good chance. Let's be honest that this appeals process goes on for years possibly like they they can't start the appeal process until the 11th at the sentencing but you know that um that appeals process is going to be happening almost um is this going to increase donald trump's likelihood of like winning no are there going to be a huge swath of people who weren't going to vote for Donald Trump. Like I, you know, I wasn't going to vote for Donald Trump, at, you know, for a multitude of different reasons. But after he was declared a felon, I think he should be a, would be a great. That those people don't exist, or they, if they do exist, they're they they do. I'm not going to say never. There are probably some people that exist like that, but it's not so many that it's going to, you know, give Trump the win. In the I think I think Biden's worse, like. The thing that's the worst thing that'll keep the, the thing that's gonna like be the most likely thing to prevent Biden from winning is going to be people under the age of thirty staying home because of their again their disgust with how the, with him being a Zionist and how he's handling uh Israel and how he's not preventing Israel from stopping them from you know, killing Palestinian babies with uh, murders. So. So it remains to be seen. Um, Donald Trump, at present, the only reason he would lose win the election would be by because of the continued incompetence of the Democrats, which I wouldn't count out their incompetence. But Donald Trump getting thir being a uh, a registered felon, very funny, very good, it, a big aha moment in history, and don't let anybody tell you anything. But, ladies and gentlemen, this has been your High Media TV News Update. I know that I don't do these two very often anymore, but I thought, but I like to, when I get a hankering to speak on some, on some shit, I like to speak on some shit. So I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. If you want to support the show, please consider doing so at himedia.gg slash dip. One dollar a month is a boon to my mental health, and you get a bunch of perks in our Discord, including early access ex in, and exclusive videos, among other things. I, please, I am very bored. Thank you so much for listening. I appreciate you, and I'll see you guys next time.